welcome to Mindful Mini Makes Virtual Art Club for Kids. Can you believe we're on week two already? And we'll be making another beautiful piece of art for you to give to your brush friend. Now, don't worry if you missed last week's, you can go back to the website and watch the introductory video and week one's Mindful Mini Make so you can catch up. We'd love you to be part of our creative community project and put a smile on someone else's face today through art. So let's find out a little bit more about what we're going to do today. Okay. One of our favourite books here in the studio is called The Cat and Bird by Geraldine Elshner and Peggy Nile. It's a beautiful book, all inspired by Paul Klee's painting called Cat and Bird. Paul Klee was a Swiss artist born in 1879. He was an incredibly talented painter and his work was influenced by many different art movements such as Surrealism, Cubism that we looked at last week and Expressionism. He loved to paint pictures with lots of humour and fun and colour and was famous for creating some incredibly innovative and exciting abstract pieces of works. Him and his wife Lily had a white cat called Bimbo, who he absolutely loved. He often included cats in many of his paintings as he found them so interesting. So today, what do you think we're going to include in our mini make? So this week, we'll be making 3D cardboard curious companion cats to keep your brush friend company. Here is my curious cat called Sid. But you can choose any type of cat you like. It could be a naughty Ginger Tom, a very posh Persian, an all white mate, black and white moggy, or even a cuddly ragdoll. Hmm. So have a little think about what type of curious cat you want to make today for your brush friend. And let's get cat crafty. The first thing we need to do is create our cat's body. Using a pencil on your cardboard, draw a teardrop shape with a flat bottom and an open neck for the main part of the cat's body. Next, take another bit of cardboard, put it next to the body so you can see how big to create the tail. Draw your tail shape on this piece of cardboard. Next, do the same thing again, but for the head. And this time, we're going to create an oval shape with pointy sides that looks a little bit like a big giant eye. Check you're happy of the size of your head in proportion to the body. Now we need to create some ears. Just draw two triangles on one piece of card. Once you've drawn all the cat's body parts, take some scissors and cut them all out. Thank you. 
Move all the other bits to one side. The only bit that you need at this stage is your cat's body. We're going to create his feet. So at the bottom of your cat's body, draw two lines with a bit of space in between. Now with your scissors, you're going to just cut along the pencil lines. Don't go any further than the end of your pencil marks. You should now have a little bit of a flap. Now we're just going to create the cat's paws and the support so your cat stands up. The easiest way to do this is spin your cat round onto his side. Hold a ruler in place or ask an adult to help you. And then with your other hand, bend the cardboard up towards you to create a bent edge. The paws will be the middle bit. So the two outer bits bend backwards, the opposite way to the front bit where the paws are. Then simply bend at the top of your pencil marks. You might want to do this with the ruler again so you get a nice straight edge. Then just simply check that your cat stands up. Now taking all your cardboard body parts, lay them all out and we're just going to simply glue the whole cat together. Make sure that you stick his tail behind the body. Now we're going to paint your curious cat. I chose to do my cat as a grey tabby. You can choose whatever you like. You could do a black and white cat or an all black cat or a ginger tom. Whatever colours you want. To do a grey cat, all you need is some black paint and some white paint. We're going to start off by making grey. In a clean pot, I'm going to take a big blob of white and a smaller blob of black. You need less black than white to get a nice light grey colour. Give it a good mix around. Now, with a nice thick paintbrush, you're going to start painting your cat. Get a good covering of grey paint onto your paintbrush. And instead of using brush strokes that go up and down, we're going to use a little bit like a circular motion so that we can get some kind of texture into the cat's fur. Paint his entire body with the light grey paint. Next, because I've got a tabby, I'm going to give him stripes. So to my light grey paint, I'm going to add a little bit more black to make a slightly darker colour grey. Once again, give it a good mix. I'm following the same technique as you did before. Using a round circular motion, Add some stripes to your cat's body and continue it all the way up the tail, a little bit on the ears and the top of the head. Finally, do some lighter strokes on his cheeks. Now we're going to add some little white flecks. These will be a little bit like white fur sticking through his grey fur. So take some white paint and preferably a thinner paintbrush. 
just add some little white lines where you fancy. I did some on his ears, top of his head, his cheeks and his tail. Next, using the same white paint, we're going to take a fork and we're going to create little lines to give our fur a little bit of texture. Cover the end of your fork with your white paint. And when you're happy, simply drag your fork downwards across the stripes of your cat's body. Continue the stripes all the way down the body and up his tail. Next, using your grey paintbrush again, we're just going to soften the fork marks that we made with our white paint. Now, simply leave your cat somewhere warm to dry and we can start making the details. Now we're going to add some pink paint to his ears and his nose. If you don't have any pink paint, all you need to do is add a small amount of red paint to a bigger blob of white paint, just like we did with the grey. Using a cotton wool bud, you're going to dab the pink paint onto each side of his ears. Next, do exactly the same thing in the centre of his head for his nose. And there you have it, our cat's ready to add some more details to his face. Taking some pink paper, or just some plain paper that you've coloured in with a pink crayon or colouring pencil, we're going to create a nose shape. The best way to do this is just to draw a little triangle and make sure that the triangle's corners are rounded instead of sharp. With some scissors, cut it out. Now to create his nice eyes. Taking a little piece of white card or paper, draw an eye shape, just like we did for the head, like an oval shape but with pointed edges. Draw the first one, cut it out, because then you can use this one as a template for the other eye. Simply hold it in place on your other bit of card, or ask an adult to hold it for you if you struggle, and with your pencil, draw around the eye shape. Then, again, with your scissors, cut out the other eye. Now, with a black marker pen or felt tip pen, you're going to draw two circles in the middle of your eyes. and then draw two large black circles in the middle of both of those circles you've drawn and colour them in so they're completely black. These are your cat's pupils. 
Next, we're going to choose a colour for the cat's irises. These are the coloured bits of your eyes. If you look in the mirror, you can see what colour yours are. I chose green for my cat, but you can choose any colour you like. Now we're going to create the cat's whiskers. Just using some black paper or some white paper that you've coloured in black. Using your scissors, simply cut some little black lines or in fact triangles if you look at them as one end is thicker than the other end. Repeat the same thing for another three whiskers so that you have two on each side. Now you're going to simply glue everything in place. The last thing you need to do is using your black marker pen or your felt tip pen is to add those final details. We're going to add a nice little mouse some dots where his whiskers are and outline his eyes. Finally, just to create his two little legs and his two little paws. We're going to draw them onto the flap. In the middle of the flap, draw a line all the way down from the top of the flap to the bottom. Then draw some smaller little lines at the bottom of the cardboard. Open up the flap and with your scissors, then round off the edges. So cut off the sharp corners of the cardboard so they look a bit more like paws. And there you have it, your 3D cardboard curious companion cat ready to give to your brush friend.